I suppose one of the things you must be very happy about is your, your home form. I think you'd be the best home record of any side in the first division after um, eight games. Yeah, you know, um, I suppose we haven't played the the teams at the top at home yet either. So, you know, that'll tell a tale where we're at. But I suppose what it does, sh does show is that, you know, I think we were getting labelled there as being kind of, still labelled probably after the first two games as being just a defensive team and, you know, a bit of kick and rush and that. But if you look in the first two games we were, we had to, we had to dig in. But certainly after that, you know, from the Galway game on, I think it was the fourth game where we really started to show our, our quality on the ball and we're playing really good football as well because, Look, if you're not playing football, you're going to get turned over in the market field, you know, so it's such a good pitch, it's really good for um, teams to come there, so it, it's, it suits a footballing team and, you know, the results show that as well. From your own point of view, being back in Senior League of Ireland football, having been out of it last year, what's it, how, what's it, what the last couple of months been like for you? Yeah, they're busy, you know, but, but like not as busy as, as, as usual because, um, you know, with my own work and my own job, it is busy whilst it's busy with admin and, and bits online, it's not as busy as um, it has been in the past um, due to the pandemic. So like, I was just delighted because like, I don't really, you know, that's my, it's, it's almost like your downtime away from work and, and family. So I'm looking to enjoy it, you know, um, um, it's, it, it's, it's a time away out of the house, you know, and there's lots of sacrifices there because you're missed, you know, you're missed at home a bit there because of two young kids. But at the same time, you know, my wife supports that and, and, and she's happy that I'm getting out from under the field as well, I'd say, you know. So it's, it, it's good that way. Um, and look, we're privileged to be out playing for the last few months. Um, and, and we're aware of that too, you know, as a group. Um, I know everyone else is coming back now and it's great. It's great to be out, you know. It's very important. It's, it's, it's what I'm used to all, all my life, you know, is being out like kind of two, three, four nights a week. Um, and you get used to that routine and you miss it um, and it, I think it's important actually for you know for players and, and, and coaches and like ourselves because it's probably what we do you know it's, it's for our emotional well-being it's very important too I think. Just in terms of um, log <coughs> from a logistical point of view Tommy with the Covid restrictions and that that are in place what are the big differences for you compared to say pre-Covid in terms of the manager their own match day and that kind of thing and even the weekly preparations? Yeah, it's not like everyone's so used to COVID now. Like it's not like you know, like I have a little fella at home, and he's telling me like, um, you know, when's it going to be level two or level three? Like not when it's going to be over. So they're so used to like, and I think everyone is nearly talking like that now, different levels. So um, like that's just an example. Even in here, it's just once you do the sanitising, sanitising, and, and keeping our distances, and um, and you know the buses are different because you know you you have to take two buses. I think we're back to one bus this week, which, which will be great. Um, and, and you know, not travelling in cars and make sure lads are doing things right like that. And, and the biggest responsibility is probably away from training, I think, um, for staff and players in the fact that you know they're not getting involved in anything silly or not going to, you know, breaking any rules outside of it because it's easy control once it's inside. Um, you know, in certain places you have to have two dressing rooms, it can be a bit awkward as well. Uh, but look, it's it's not major, um, you know, like and, and lads are used to being. Um, professional and, and behaving in that way so thankfully this group have been excellent and we've only we had one close contact very early uh, in pre-season and uh, it was from a young player which was very impressed with as well that he, and he told us straight away and we isolated him for for 12 or 13 days um, it was it was a relative of his but there was no they didn't have COVID so uh, it's been very it's been very good you know and the lads have been very good and, and, and the staff and, and we've 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 we follow the rules and I think it's very important to do that but like I suppose there's not much difference Cullum from our point of view because footballers have to be disciplined anyway and, and they know how to follow rules you know so um, and, and, and sports people that, that play at a high level um, you know they make good they make good employees as well that way because they, they're very good at, at, um, at being on time and following rules and, and, and doing, doing as they're asked for sure you were saying earlier there, there you're, in, you're in the next cohort to be vaccinated in that age group. Uh, I suppose some of your squad will have to wait a little bit longer. They will, yeah, I'm in there, I'd say, and uh, the, the rest of the staff probably are in there as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I, we're, we're, I, I didn't register actually, but I must do it now because since you taught me that. Um, but yeah, the, the younger lads, obviously, you know, 
Um, they're, they're, most of our squad, I think, with the average age of 23 or 24, so they're, they're young and they'll be another few weeks yet. What kind of challenges will Kevin Tilly pose on Friday night from what you've seen of them in videos and that? Yeah, look, they're, they're, a, they're a big physical side and, they, you know, they can play as well. There's some very good players, you know, the obvious one being Cairn Marty Waters and, you know, but they've others in him as well and Ben Henry. Ben Henry's a good young player and they've good attacking players, but they're, they're very solid defensively and very well organised, uh, good physical side. Um, and they'll, they grind out results, you know, as, as you can see, they, 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 they get a, you know, they beat Cove 1-0 and Cork 1-0, they, they won away from home, which, you know, against that loan, which is no mean feat. So, like every week, it'll be a real tough battle for us to get anything out of the game.